Hi there, today we will be making a mood cup. A mood cup is something that's really fun to play with and I decided to share that with you. Okay, so this is an arts and crafts thing, so we will obviously need certain materials. Alright, here are materials. You will need two cups, can be two plastic cups basically. Tape, which is optional, is like, and scissors, and a black marker. So these are the essentials you need to your mood cup. If you want to get create all uh, fun and decorate it, then you will need like crayons, markers, etc. So let's put, let's get started. All right. So the materials you will need for this step are scissors and obviously our two cups so what you're gonna do is you're going to take there's an outside cup and an inside cup so we're going to use the outside cup right now you can choose whatever one because they're both the same so you will make one hole in the center all right so you will need a black marker for this step which is optional if you are not like me so with a black marker, trace a small square on your cup, right? So I'm going to take my black marker and start tracing. All right, so I finished that. Put the this back on. So now you see we have traced a square right here. And so this is um, important because you will need to cut out it properly. All right, so let's get cutting. So cut out the square that's right here. All right, so I finished my hole. So now you can see that's um, the part where you, your mood will be visible. Right now it's empty. So you're gonna put this cup in. And so you're basically just going to twist this and until what mood pops up. So now we're going to use the second cup. You can keep the second cup in for this step or out. It depends on what's easier for you. I'm going to keep it in. So you can see this is the part where the second cup is. Um, for this step, you will need your black marker. And you're going to have to draw your moods right here. And then I will be adding details after I draw my, my moods. All right, so I am going to go ahead and draw my moods. Moods. You can have as many moods as they fit your as many moods as you can possibly have. Um. So that's what. Why um you need to be like very careful on your mood. So that's why I'm using this part to help me so it's spaced out and it will perfectly be fine. And if you want to change, then you do this. But I will gather uh, like keep explaining this after I finish my moods. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna be drawing happy right here. You see I've drawn two lines and then a smiley face. Happy. And then I'm going to twist it. See, there's happy here and then I'm going to twist it. So I'm going to do this with the rest of the cup. I'll see you when I finish. All right. So I added all of the details on this new cup. Whoops. <laughs> okay. So I added all the details. A smile. Casual. Excited, angry, like, I don't know what this is. This is like straight, nothing, bored. And this is like sad. So, um, I fixed all the moods. And so, time for details. All right, for our details, we will be showing, I will be showing you what, what you can add for your details. But for that, I suggest getting a new marker. All right, I'm going to trade this in. Bloop. And bloop. 
All right, we got blue. Um, so I'm gonna keep this at blue, and so I'm going to add details in this mid cup. Okay, let's see if blue works. We need to make sure it works. Oh no, it doesn't work. We're gonna trade this non-working in blue for this brand new pink blue and pop. All right, so I'm going to be writing details here and after that i will show them to you all right i hope to see you there all right so i finished decorating my mood cup and instead of using paint markers i actually used a sh blue sharpie um because like the blue sharpie is actually more visible here so yeah okay so this is my the decorations i added so obviously I put all my moods. See, see, I'm turning this. And so I added this. Say, what's your mood today? Find out here. So this is where your mood is visible. And so uh, I'm gonna just go play with my mood cup and you'll see how fun it is to play. But before that, watch this short video so you will understand each part of the mood cup so watch this short video before you carry on all right good the short video will be green in three two one hi there um i'm stacy and today i will be telling you all about a mood cup so these are the parts of a mood cup. So these are the parts of the mood cup. First, we have the mood cup, the actual thing. Um, it's, it's called, this is the main part of the mood cup. It's just called the mood cup. And this is called the frame cup. This is the frame. And so, as you know, there are like two parts to the mood cup and so this is the mood cup and this is the frame cup the frame cup has all the details this is the back part of it the back part is never meant to be do done anything with so no matter what don't do anything here you can like decorate it but don't do anything here this is the bottom part and so as you know that and the mood cup and this is like the mood cup as usual and this is the lever of the mood cup so and so supposing you um are right now casual all right and so and you don't want because and then you accidentally turn your cup upside down and it just turns loose oh no there is a solution to that all right so if you want to there's a solution you can lock your mood cup so what you will do is you will grab on to both of these ends make sure your mood is in the proper place grab on these two and just lock it and press it so it your mood is locked what i like to do is i just like to Press it, and voila, your mood is locked. Or, you can add your own lock. Awesome, right? For this, you will need some tape. Right, so what you're going to do with the tape is you're going to just take a strip out, like approximately this big. And so, what you're going to do is you're going to just put a strip of it on here, and so, if you want to lock it, you're going to do it on this side and another side. So, your mood will be locked. And you can unlock it. So, like, lightly press and get the other side. This small. Okay. There. And so, we're going to put it on this side and 
lock it. Ta-da! Your mood cup has its own lock. It's not gonna fall. And if you wanna unlock it, just peel the strips of tape off and your tape will still work because these cups, they do not have like anything that will come on it. So yours will be perfectly fine. So next time you want to lock, make, but a reminder is make sure your mood is in like a proper placing and so then you can lock it and make sure that it doesn't come like this because when you peel it, this stuff will be removed. So, like, but this is a problem. So, supposing you're in this mood, and this is like this. That's okay. These paints, these strips are removable. So, you can remove this strip and put it to the side. Right here, approximately. And so, you can go like this, this, this. Or this. So, whatever your mood is, it can be locked. And so, but if you don't want the lock, you can always just remove it. Okay, so that's all you need to know about the mood cup. And I hope you enjoyed this video. So, what are you waiting for? Move on to the next video where... You will learn how to play with one. Bye. All right. So, I hope you had fun learning about the parts of the meat cup and maybe even attaching your own lock. So, as you can see, we're ready to play with our mood cup. So, this is a small game. I will give you five seconds to decide what your mood is. But if you do not answer in five seconds, the mood cup will get locked on a random mood. All right. And when it gets locked on that random mood, you will have to describe what makes you think about what makes you this mood. All right. Let's get started. So. All right, you have five seconds. I'm going to spin this around. Time's up. Okay. So I have locked this mood, and it's on happy right now. So you have one minute to think about what makes you happy. All right. Awesome suggestions. Okay, so that was fun. So this is one game you can play. Or you can just twist it around. Depends on your mood. If you're sad, it's okay. Lock it in sad. And tomorrow, I will be showing you how to add a fun, stress-relieving item to your mood cup. Alright, peace out. Bye.